On the positive side, this legislature has done more for Roanoke than any legislature that I have attended. Let's just enumerate a few of the things. One is provided a community college for Roanoke. It has given funds for the construction of a new building for the Roanoke Technical Institute, which will be the base of the community college. It has given funds for the construction of a building on another site on Colonial Avenue, which will be used by the University Center. It has opened up a medical examiner's office in Roanoke. It has developed our recreational facilities and given funds for the development of Smith Mountain Lake. It has provided more grants and aid for Roanoke, uh, namely $6 million worth for schools and roads and other things than any session that I have attended. All this uh, in addition to the sales tax money that will be coming back to Roanoke for the use of public facilities. The ambitious program of Governor Godwin has certainly been launched. Republicans cannot fairly criticize the program because in the final analysis, much of what he has undertaken is, are the things which we have sought for many years. We think that the impetus for his program came from the 1965 campaign that was out the efforts, the great Republican effort of last fall, and particularly that of Leonard Holton. The governor of Virginia now would not be seeing the sign on the wall, and he would not realize that the people of Virginia were ready for his program. So we take credit for that, and we take a great deal of satisfaction that it has been launched. We resent, of course, very deeply our treatment as second-class legislators in the matter of committee assignments and related activities in the General Assembly. We hope, however, that this has not colored our judgment and that we have approached the matter uh, of legislation as objectively and as fairly as the people who elected this expected.